Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be building off of what I did last week, which was DIYing decor trends for 2020. So I've chosen a few more things that are kind of floating around in the internet world right now as popular decor this year, and I'm going to try to DIY them. So I've got a couple of macrame DIYs as well as a punch needle pillow, which I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to try that forever. So in addition to my own DIYs, I'm going to be showing you a couple of DIYs from KiwiCo. They actually sent me a couple of their maker crates and it's basically a DIY kit for adults, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna share that with you guys and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video today. Okay, so we've got a lot of fun projects to get through, so let's get started. To make a macrame feather, first cut out your pieces of macrame cord, one 18 inch piece, eight nine inch pieces, six six inch pieces, and six four inch pieces. And I'll leave the measurements down below. Starting with your longest 18 inch piece, fold it in half and tape it down with a piece of washi tape. Now I'm gonna show you how to create this knot right here. So you're gonna take one of your longer pieces, a nine inch piece and fold it in half and slide it under your base piece, that 18 inch piece. That'll be basically the spine of the feather. Next, take another nine inch piece, fold it in half and slide that loop under the loop of the first one and pull it up. Then reach through that second loop and grab the ends of your first piece that you put down pull them up through that second loop and then pull the ends tight. And you can slide it up so that all the pieces are tight together. Now you're gonna do the same thing but in reverse. So starting from the other side, make a loop, make a second loop and pull it up under the first one. Pull the first pieces through the loop of the second one and then pull it tight. Hopefully that makes sense, but just watch it a few times if you're confused. Um, it's the same thing over and over, you just start on a different side each time. As the pieces get smaller, you're gonna just continue down, so you'll do all your longer pieces first, then your next shorter pieces, then the next shorter pieces. When you get to the end of that and you've done all of your pieces, you can take a little comb or brush. This is just an old eyebrow brush that I have, and I like to just use it to comb through the macrame cord. You can use a pet brush as well, um, but this just works well because my macrame cord is pretty tightly wound. So this is the most tedious part, but just pop on a movie or a show and it'll go by quickly. And then once it's all frayed, you're going to trim it because you can see it looks a little funny right now. So basically I just took my scissors and kind of tried to cut it into the shape of what a feather would be. And you can go back and trim little extra pieces later. So this doesn't have to be perfect when you do it. And then also at the bottom, I decided to cut off a little extra to make it come to more of a point and you can hang it up as a wall hanging, you can make a keychain. there are so many different ways you can use this. And I actually like to frame things like this, so I just put it on a white piece of paper with a little bit of masking tape, and then I popped it into a frame, and I think it's a really nice piece of shelf decor, or I'm gonna put it in my office, you can use it as wall decor, but I just think it looks really cool and boho. And the whole thing is super easy once you get the hang of it. So like I said, KiwiCo sent me some maker crates. This is the punch needle crate. It comes with everything you need, all of the supplies, the tools, the yarn that you'll need for the project, really high quality supplies. It also comes with a history of the art of punch needle and a bunch of templates. So you can choose any one that you want that they give you or you can make your own and draw it right onto the pillowcase that comes in the kit. So I am totally new to punch needle. So I really like this because I had no idea where to start with like which supplies I needed to buy or how much I would need. So this is perfect for that if you're new to a certain type of craft. So this is the punch needle and you just string the yarn right through it and they give you some really great instructional videos so that you know that you're doing it right. And I had to watch it a few times to make sure I was threading this correctly. But then you just have to simply punch through the fabric. It's as easy as it sounds. It took me a little bit of time to get the technique down but I figured out that you have to kind of put the needle in at an angle then slightly pull it out of the fabric and then drag it across to the next hole that you wanna punch it through and then go to that one. As you can see, I started to become a pro and get really quick at it and this is what it looks like as it's starting to come together. So then once you finish with one section, you just move on to the next section and your next color and the next color. So the Maker Crate is a monthly subscription where you get a new DIY kit delivered to your door every month 
And I think that's super cool, especially during this time when it's been hard for me to get out and get supplies and just get out of the house in general with quarantine. So this is perfect. Once I had finished filling in all the blank spaces, I put in the pillow insert that came with the kit and now I've got this adorable pillow and I have all the tools so if I want to make another one, now I can. I've been seeing these really cool candle holders online everywhere and in my favorite decor shops. So I decided to try and make one and I've got this oven bake clay um, and I really like the color of it. So I'm not even gonna have to paint it, which I'm happy about. And I just started out by rolling it into a snake shape essentially. I think mine ended up being about nine to 10 inches long. Then I took a candle, you can use anything round, just to kind of get the shape that you want to make sure it's a perfect circle. And I just wrapped that clay around that candle base just so that I knew that it was pretty perfectly round. Then I used my fingers to just smooth the seam together where the two ends met. This part won't be perfect, but that's okay because we're actually gonna cover that part up um, with the part that holds our candle. So once that is done, I set it aside and then I took another ball of clay and I took a taper candle, which is what I'll be putting in this. And I just use that as a guide to kind of create the base for what's going to hold the candle. So I took the clay ball and I just sort of molded it around the base of the taper candle so that I knew it would be the right size. And then once I kind of got that mostly good, I took the candle out and then I used my fingers to just smooth out the top and the edges. This actually won't be too perfect, but I kind of like that. It looks a little more organic and earthy. So then I baked it according to the package instructions and now it's nice and hardened and I'm just going to use some glue to attach them together. You need to use a super glue here. You do not wanna mess around with something that's going to fall off or tip over when you have a candle inside. And to be honest, I usually don't even light candles when I have them in something that I make myself because I wanna be uber cautious. It's really just a decorative piece, but I love the way this turned out. I think it looks so cool and I cannot wait to display it. So I quickly wanted to show you guys the macrame planter crate as well. So they gave me all the supplies again, and I think this is just such a great option. Like if you don't know which supplies you need at the store, you can just get everything shipped right to you and all the directions. So this template was really helpful. It actually showed me where to cut the clay to make the pot the perfect shape, which normally I'm just guessing on it. Um, so I just did that and smoothed out the edges and then let it dry overnight. Then they gave a bunch of options for customizing the actual planter. So they taught me a bunch of different knots, some that I've never done before. And I was allowed to kind of choose which ones I wanted to use. And this is basically a series of square knots and half knots. And I didn't have to do any measuring because they told me exactly how to measure it out, which was really nice. Sometimes you just don't want to have to think about it. Um, even people who DIY all the time like me. So I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And of course, you know me, I had to customize it a little bit more. I added some gray paint to some water and did that splatter um, kind of like speckled effect that you know I love. And I think it turned out great. Okay, let me know in the comments below which one of those was your favorite. I'm so happy with how they turned out and now I have some more fun decor for my home. Thank you again to KiwiCo for working with me on this video. I'll leave all of their information in the description box down below. And if you use my code, you'll get 30% off your first month of a maker subscription, which is super cool. So I hope you guys will try it out and maybe try out some new DIYs. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.